Hi everyone, Nancy Anger here, and I'm here to talk to you about um, Atlas balancing or Atlas imbalance. So um, the Atlas is the first vertebrae in the neck, um, and being as the first vertebrae in the neck, um, if when, when, when something is out of alignment, it affects everything in the body. So if you think of the first vertebrae in the neck, which is called the Atlas, um, this is the skull, and then this is the first vertebrae, the atlas, and the second one is the axis. So um, if the first vertebrae is out of alignment, a little tilted or turned, just think about how the whole rest of the spine moving all the way down is going to be affected. So how did this um, modality come about? So um, my, the teacher that I was trained that um, – created the modality, which I think she now calls Dao Ta Singing Codes. Um, actually, she uh, she's from Germany, Elizabeth Westerman. But actually, she started working with the Atlas um, before she created this modality. And she worked, it was a gentleman from Switzerland named Rodney Champerlet, who had had some injuries um, as a child and a young adult. And had a lot of different physical um, problems, different physical and other kind of um, ailments. And he was the kind of person that wanted to figure it out, wanted to figure out and find a way how to heal himself, how to feel better. He didn't feel good and he was, so he kind of set to work to find out about healing himself. And through his research, he came to feel or believe um, that what was going on with him was connected to his atlas and that as many as 90, over more than 90% of people are generally born with their atlas out of alignment from birth and not, that's not really caused from birth, but from birth. Um, and then also most animals as well um, have an atlas that's slightly out of alignment. Um, and usually it would be more the, um, the open, the right side is a little more open and the left side is closed off. So it, this can also affect your, um, your intuition. If you're out of alignment here, your left side, it can affect your um, intuition and a whole bunch of other things. So if you think about um, like horses, horse tracks, the horses always race in the same direction. Horses, um, atlases are out of alignment as well. And so they, and if you ever were around horses, you may have been taught never to approach them. Um, I think it's on the right side because their heads are slightly turned and it would spook them. And so atlas balancing, um, we use sound codes and we can do it on humans as well as animals. So I'll tell you a little bit more about the sound codes in a few minutes. But um, so anyways, this gentleman, Rene Chapelet, he created um, uh he felt that um, that when the atlas was out of alignment or out of balance, he was trying to figure out how to get it back in balance. So in the atlas, um, just below the atlas, there's actually these two little um, bones called styloid processes. So when the atlas is turned, it's actually it's kind of a little picture of the atlas out of alignment and in alignment. And this is the, um, the axis is the second vertebrae. So when the, um, the atlas and then the axis turns, it's meant to rotate on the second cervical vertebrae, which is the axis. And so um, he, this Rene Chambrelet, ended up creating a machine called an atlas prophylax. And what it did was he used it against the, um, the person's neck to help bring the atlas back into alignment. So it used vibration and it was a very um, physical vibration and it was a direct contact vibration. And so um, Elizabeth used this um, on clients over the years and she saw it worked well, but then she also felt like there were some downsides to it. And Elizabeth is a healer um, and she's also a singer by, um, She's a singer by um, nature or profession. And so she started actually getting this information or downloads or codes to, um, to use sound as a vibration for moving the atlas. And that way you weren't actually 
using anything physically vibrating and pressing against, but rather you're using sound codes. Um, and so she created this whole system using sound codes to help the Atlas um, to come into alignment and without using any kind of machine or equipment and how it came about when she was, uh, she first tested it when she came to the United States um, to visit a friend in Florida and her friend was having some different symptoms going on. And she said, you know, that sounds like it might be connected to your Atlas being out of alignment. So if you're open, let's give it a try. And she sang these sound codes for her friend um, and it worked. Her friend noticed her, she felt better. She had a, her symptoms started to get better. And, um, and that was kind of the birth of it for Elizabeth. So when I first um, learned about Atlas balancing, I think it was still a fairly new modality. Um, and Elizabeth at the time had, I think the, I had learned about it in 2013. I think it was just before that, that she came and actually did her first training in the United States. Uh, as I said, she was from Germany. So she had been teaching people from Germany. Um, but then she started coming to the United States. She got a connection in the United States and started bringing it here. So um, when I had my Atlas balanced, the teacher or the healer, the sound code healer that I had actually traveled from California across the country um, to Massachusetts to a community that I was connected with. And I, so I learned about it and um, I had my Atlas balanced. It was June in 2019. And I didn't even really quite know what it was, but I really felt compelled to have the session. Um, and I had it in person. So sound codes, you can do it in person. If we do it in person, we use a very light touch, but there is no manipulation. There's no, you know, nobody's trying to push. It's not like chiropractic or anything like that. There's no physical manipulation or any by, by far. All it is um, basically is, <clears throat> or I don't say all it is, but it's the sound codes that are these specific codes that help to unlock and use vibration of the codes that actually, um, it's like a passcode. So if you have, um, computer or your phone and you have a passcode to get into your phone, um, sound codes are like that. They unlock your body's own wisdom for healing and for bringing itself back into alignment. And the beauty of that is it only, um, it works however your body is ready to receive it. So if someone were to actually go and um, like say you went to um, someone that was going to physically manipulate and move your neck, your spine, whatever, which that can work great too, the chiropractic in that. I've been chiropractic in my life and had great, great results from it. And so, but this, I'm not a chiropractor, and this is a beautiful thing because it's kind of like, it's kind of a funny analogy, but I think of it like um, they used to have that lipstick that you would put on and it would change to the color of, that worked perfectly for you. And I think of it kind of like that. You, when you receive the sound codes, your body receives the message, unlocks its own natural healing ability, and then your body gets to work physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, whatever ways um, are the perfect way for your body to start to shift. And it would never um, do or change anything that wasn't in your best. It's always just going to naturally bring you into your own, your body's own um, highest health and well-being. And so the results that I had after mine, I had, um, I tended to have a little bit of punchy posture, head forward, I had a lot of neck pain, um, especially as I got a little older and um, had children and was carrying the car carriers, you know, and all things like that. And so some of the things I noticed, I noticed... Um, that my muscles were able to relax a lot more in my neck, um, where I had a lot of chronic pain. Suddenly, the, um, it started to get a lot better. Um, I also, my posture was more easily held, and I had been um, practicing yoga since 1999, so I had my atlas balanced in 2013. So this was 14 years after I had been practicing yoga, doing all kinds of things to try to help with my upper back and my neck pain. And some of those things had really helped, but I noticed after I had my atlas balance, suddenly my posture was more easily held. And that's the best way I can put it. And actually, I did a session on 
somebody a couple days ago, a young woman, she was 18. And after the session, that was one of the first things she noticed, like just a few minutes after the session, she said, wow, I feel like it's easier to hold my posture. Um, and so after the session, your um, it just continues to evolve over some things will start to shift right away. And some things will start to shift over the next days and weeks and months and even years. And so, um, the, as I said, the sound codes are what kind of unlocks your body's own wisdom and healing ability. And then the codes um, get set to work. Even at the end of the sound codes, there's a code that I give that um, says for the, the sound codes to stay in your body and continue working for whatever way and as long as um, until your body is done using them. So use it for the highest. So that can evolve over time. Um, my, I had a massage therapist that I was going to on a regular basis and for, for several years, and I remember her saying even a few years after I had my atlas balance, she could see how my spinal column, especially like um, my upper back, which tended to be a little more hunchy for me, she could see how that was continuing to change um, and evolve into a better um, curvature, which is really cool because most people wouldn't even necessarily know that about themselves, but because I had the same massage therapist for quite a while, she could see and kind of follow the changes. So um, the other thing, <clears throat> um, like I'm a fitness person, it really helped with my fitness as my, um, my body came more into alignment. It was a lot easier uh, workouts. I can feel um, it's, your body is always trying to protect itself and keep itself safe. So sometimes when you have um, like pain, it's sometimes just really your body's trying to hold on and keep it more stable. And so the neck particularly, um, if you think of like many or most people are probably have their atlas out of alignment. And then when you try to do something where you bring your head way back, your body knows that it's not safe. It's not supported. Your, um, the base of your skull is supposed to kind of set down into this little kind of like a footprint or it's supposed to set firmly down into that. And then when it's in alignment and then you start to, tip your head back or whatever, everything is all really supported and stable. But if things are kind of out of whack, then see, it kind of would go a little not so good. So your body is going to try to protect you. So I noticed after I had my atlas in balance and I would do yoga poses and things where my head, I would take my head back and it felt so much more secure um, and supported. Um, the other thing I actually, so I had it done in June and in October, I realized I was actually a half inch taller and I had that verified at the doctor's. <clears throat> and when I told her, because at the time I was in my fifties and she said, which I still am. And she said, well, you don't grow at your age. She said, your neck must've just straightened out or something. And I laughed because yep, probably that. And then my spine as well. So um, people tend to, as you get older, you tend to shrink and get compressed. Um, but through the atlas balancing, it actually helped more make more space and better um, alignment for bringing my spine back into. Um, so the spine is meant to have the natural curves of the spine. Um, let's see. Do I have a picture here? Somewhere. So the spine is meant to have um, natural curves and it acts like a shock observer absorber and so a couple of years after I had my atlas balance I was actually um well, there's the person snapchat in it I actually um was with my daughter and we were skiing and she said oh mom you know go over the jump and I was like sure and I like went to go over the jump and then I kind of panicked at the last minute so I half went over it ended up landing splat with my legs, skis out, my arms out. And she was like, are you okay, mom? Oh my God, are you okay? And I checked in and I was like, yeah, actually I am okay. And I started laughing and it was like my spine because it was more um, solid. The align It was more in alignment at that point. <clears throat> I did not get injured. And it's not to say that you, you know, it's it just uh, my body was acting as a better 
shock absorber. And Elizabeth, who is the founder of this modality, when she was um, in her early 60s, I believe, she was um, in India in a temple and she actually got knocked and fell over backwards on her head and like more on her back, which hit her head. Um, and when she got up, she was not injured either. And she attributed that the atlas balancing really helped um, create more stability in, um, in her spine. So um, let's see, anything else I can think of about my own experience of atlas balancing. So um, some things with clients that I have seen um, is like, because um, I've done many of them in person and some of them remotely as well or um, face to face online. Um, I've seen people stand up and suddenly bend down and touch their toes where they couldn't touch their toes before. Um, uh, we do a little um, exercise to kind of test your range of motion before and after we do the session. And most people will be able to see, wow, I have a lot bigger range of motion. Um, and when the atlas is in alignment, your head should really be able to have a really good um, turn to it. Um, it's how how things are, would be optimally, but many people have a limited range of emotion, of emotion, huh? um, that could be something there too, but a range of motion. And so and some people will um, shift more quickly, some more slowly. It just depends on how your body is, um, how your body wants to unfold it. I mean, I've worked on younger people. I've worked on um, older people. So it really depends on how long you've been holding tension in your body and things like that. Um, so the other, um, let's see, what else there? All right. So this, so I have this, um, <clears throat> So the, um, the atlas and the axis, right? So the, um, <clears throat> as I said, it's the first vertebrae of the neck. It bears the weight of the head, <clears throat> but it also functions as the <clears throat> gateway of the nervous system and the spinal column. And um, <clears throat> it's a common cause of chronic pain uh, because it obstructs really the two-way communication between the brain and the rest of the body. Um, and as long as the atlas is unbalanced, it will continue to work and try to compensate to make up for it. Um, so that's where people can sometimes end up with scoliosis, which is like the body kind of trying to bring itself back into balance. Um, you can have points of tension on the joints, the muscles. Um, <clears throat> the ongoing pressure on nerves and blood vessels can re lead to a range of dysfunction that weaken the body and develop major pain and disease. And if you look at this, um, so the atlas and the axis, right, are the top two vertebrae, and but then it connects the, you know, all the nerves, everything runs all the way through the spinal column and connects to like the organs and um, all kinds of things. So it's really connects, that's every single thing in the body. Um, so some of the things um, that if your atlas is out of alignment, some, tip, some typical symptoms can be migraines and headaches, digestion, um, diarrhea, constipation, allergies, autoimmune, certainly back aches, neck aches, scoliosis, um, even affect your blood pressure, dizziness, it can affect your, um, your sleep, um, exhaustion, diabetes, dementia, um, TMJ, jaw stuff. Um, psychological stuff. Um, yeah, so you, all kinds of things can shift. I've had even people um, it can affect your eyes, your hearing, um, because again, it's it runs right through, um, your, your nerves run through your, your neck, your spinal column. And so I've had people um, like suddenly see better, like they see clearer right after an atlas balancing. I've had people's voice change where people were <clears throat> a little bit scratchy before and then their voice is better. Um, more, more ease and more comfort in the body in general. And so everyone's response is going to be a little bit different. Um, and the only way you can really know what that is for you is to have the, um, you know, to have your atlas balanced and to kind of just see and notice what you notice um, for yourself. 
And so one of the cool things too with the Atlas, so I mentioned the um, Skyway processes. So generally Atlas is out of um, balance, it's turned and sometimes it's tilted. And so part of it will be in front of the stylet process and part of it will be behind it. And so when the atlas moves back into alignment, it generally will stay there. Unless you had some kind of um, emotional or physical trauma, your atlas is going to most likely stay where it is. Um, I do some other sound codes for the sacrum and the tailbone, et cetera. And those areas in the body are more, much more mobile. But the atlas itself, once it moves into alignment, it's um, very likely that it's going to stay there unless you had some other trauma. So the, um, when I do the atlas and balance, I do the original, the first um, sound codes, the first set. And then a couple of weeks later, we come back and do a little bit of fine tuning, which um, helps fine tune with the muscles and different things, um, just a kind of little tweaking and fine tuning. But generally, it will um, go into alignment at the very first session um, and stay there. And it's just a beginning. Then the body starts to um, unfold its healing process from there, which is really cool. So just a little recap why the atlas balance is so important. First of all, it connects your head to your spinal column. Um, all of your neuroactivity passes through. Um, research shows about 98% of people, which is pretty much most everybody, has it twisted or turned from birth at different degrees, and it can get worse over time from different things in your life. Um, entire body functionality is compromised when it's imbalanced. Chronic pain conditions can stem from atlas misalignment, and just some, it can affect muscle, back, hips, knee, neck shoulders, joints, headaches, TMJ, ADD, ADHD. Um, and one other really cool thing, when you, um, as a female, if you had your um, atlas balance done, um, that passes through to your, any children that you give birth to after your atlas has been balanced, which is a cool little extra um, plus. So, um, I think that answers everything. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And um, thanks for listening. I'm excited to do your Atlas balancing.